hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again i'm finally in australia yes i relocated to australia a few days ago and i'm super excited i've been talking about relocating to australia for quite some time now and i finally made it into australia a couple of days ago with my family and i'm super 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 excited guys you don't know how how happy i am this video can't tell you completely how happy i am and i just wanted to like um tell you guys a bit of how my journey went how i prepared for um this journey uh, because it was a 23 hours flight and i had to plan very very well um for this journey before i embarked on it because i traveled with my nine month old baby and i'm also heavily pregnant and expecting i needed um an airline that would be so comfortable i wanted the journey to be so so comfortable for me because it's not easy travel going on such a long journey when pregnant and also traveling with a baby of course so let's talk about this entire journey how it went I thought about after we got our permanent residency notification here in Australia um, was um, the choice of airline. I needed an airline that is safe. I needed an airline um, that would be so comfortable and convenient. I didn't want any sort of inconvenience at all. Um, so I went on online and I looked up airlines and um, I also asked colleagues and friends and uh, most people recommended Qantas, some of them recommended Emirates Airlines and majority of them recommended Singapore Airlines. So what I did was I read the Google review on all of these airlines and finally I went with Singapore Airlines. The reason why I went to Singapore Airlines was they had very, very good customer service review and um, I also read and heard from people that it's, it's one of the safest, safest flights in the world. So I booked with Singapore Airlines. There were cheaper airlines, but um, I wanted that comfort. So it wasn't about the money for me. It was about comfort. I just wanted to be comfortable throughout the journey. So I booked with Singapore Airlines and I was given a seat with um, baby bassinet. So I didn't get the opportunity to sit close to the window to make those good videos and all of that. <laughs> so anyway, um, that was that. I booked us, I booked our flight two months ahead and um, it wasn't really expensive. Um, it was, I think about a thousand seven hundred pounds for the three of us. So, hmm. On the day of the journey, okay, so after I booked our flights, uh, the next thing I thought about was our gadgets and um, I needed, I heard that the Australian socket, um, I heard from friends and I read on social media that the Australian socket um, was different from the one we use in my home country in Nigeria and the UK where I lived, of course. So I had to get um, something that would be compatible with your socket to enable me to charge my gadgets because I don't want my phone to die, honestly. <laughs> I don't want my battery to run down and I need my computer, I need my um, iPad, I need my phones and everything working. So I had to think of something because I've heard people um be strand say they were stranded first few days on arriving here because they didn't have a means of charging their phones because the chargers were not like compatible with the socket first thing i did was to get this um uk to australia adapter so with this you can see the way the pin is this is how the australian socket is shaped so i had to get this um portable uk to um Australian adapter. It's available on Amazon for those of you that want it. I got uh, this one is Quite affordable. It came two in one in a pack. I can't remember exactly how much it is But there are so many of them ranging from 11 pounds to 26 pounds and depending on the model you want if you want to go for something fancy, but I think this one should be around 16 pounds or there about but you can look it up on Amazon. So I got it and it's been working very fine for me ever since i got here the second thing i thought about was my food stuff yes as a nigerian woman i have to cook correct african food for my husband not just african food correct nigerian soup for my husband <laughs> i don't play with my food stuff so you know how the australian migration um police are always very um strict with what comes into the country they are very very strict with what people bring into their country so i had to go to the immigration website and also 
to help speak to people who have gone through um, border police on how they package their food stuff. I will discuss that in an entirely separate video. So um, I made sure to um, speak to food vendors and got my food stuff packed uh, in a way that met the standards that they wanted. So let's talk about the food stuff in another video. Then another thing I thought of was um, how to safely travel with my baby and food. Um, Singapore Airlines offer to give us in-flight baby food. Um, so it's when you're booking the flight, it says you are entitled to, um, the baby is entitled to three course meals in flight throughout the journey. And it was a 23 hour flight. But then again, um, I have, my baby is used to eating Nigerian foods already and I give her the normal checkers custard and some other Nigerian baby foods like Serelac and other ones. So I wasn't sure if she, if she was going to accept the in-flight meal. So I opted to bring my own baby food. So I went with everything my baby needed and it wasn't more, it wasn't so, so stressful because I was prepared. So my baby was almost not entirely comfortable, but almost comfortable throughout the journey. And let me tell you the beauty about the beauty of flying with Singapore Airlines. Um, so Singapore Airlines offers extra free 10 kg to um, people traveling to Australia for the first time on a permanent residency visa. So if you're traveling to Australia for the first time on a permanent residency visa and you book your flight with Singapore Airlines, um, you are entitled to a free 10 kg um, check-in baggage allowance. So if you're a family of seven and the seven of you booked with Singapore Airlines, you are entitled to free 70 kg baggage allowance. It doesn't matter how you pack it. You can choose to pack it together, pack it separately. It doesn't matter. You are entitled to free 70 kg baggage allowance. If you're a family of three traveling on a permanent residency visa for the first time, you are entitled to free 30 kg baggage allowance. Just make sure you send an email to um, their customer service ahead of time explaining that, oh, you're traveling to Australia on a permanent residency visa for the first time and um that uh you heard you are entitled to the to a free 10 kg baggage allowance they will respond to you explaining how it works uh make sure you print your conversation with them and take it with you to the airport to avoid any confusions with um the staff who work um at the airport so yes we got because there were there were three of us with uh, myself my husband and my daughter um we got free um 30 kg baggage allowance with singapore airlines which was i didn't pay for extra baggage allowance with the airline at all so on the day of the journey i made sure that we got to the airport on time i don't have beautiful videos um I, I i was so wanted to document this journey for you guys but um given the circumstances traveling with a baby being pregnant i was so so tired i slept almost all through almost through the journey so i didn't have that time to make um such beautiful videos for you guys and i'm so so sorry i apologize for that but um i made sure to arrive at the airport on time and the food they gave us in flight was mwah. Like I got Singapore Airlines has very good customer service. It was a long flight and a long and exhausting one, but the customer service, the, the air hostess has made the experience. It was so smooth. Um, they would attend to you when you want. They had smiles on their faces. I even forget to give them a review, which I would go back and do on their website after making this video. So yes, I would strongly recommend you guys traveling with Singapore Airlines. It wasn't like, it was a direct flight, but we had um, two hours, 30 minutes layover at Singapore. And then from Singapore, we took off straight to Sydney. On getting to Sydney, oh my goodness, the airport is so beautiful. <laughs> The environment was so friendly. We started off on a good note. The people were really nice to us. They're really, really nice people here and all of that. So one thing that I forgot to mention, which was very important um, thing to do was 
housing, the issue of housing. What I did was get an Airbnb for a week. So I got an Airbnb close to the hospital for a week. Um, I went on the app. Um, they used to search for houses here, like, just like we have the Zoopla and the Right Move app in the UK. So we have the real estate and the domain app in Australia. So while I was in the UK, I created a profile with the real estate and the domain app. I put in all my details. I So this app is different from the ones we have in the UK. With this app, you are able to create a profile if you're uh, wanting to rent or wanting to buy a house. You're able to create a profile with the apps and do referencing checks. That is enter your employment details uh your previous address and current address details all of that and they will send uh, they will do referencing checks with your employer your landlord and whomever and also the app gives you opportunity to upload um, things such as pay slips um rental statements and um what, um, bank statements whatever supporting evidence you have to convince a landlord to rent or sell to you you upload it to the app so with this is a one-off reference with the app so it's not like in the uk where if you're house hunting and you have like seven houses to view you have to do referencing checks for all of them differently no so with this app if you create a profile with this app it is just a one-off reference so even if you're applying for 20 houses it's that one reference they've done the reference they've done the reference except you have an update to make so if if your circumstances change you can go back there and make the update and they will do a new reference so I did all of this. Um, I created the profile. Um, the referencing checks were done. And um, I uploaded pay slips for myself and my husband, rental statements, um, bank statements, uh, passport. And um, so I also indicated there that um, we are able to offer up to two to three months rent upfront because we don't have a rental history yet in Australia. So it would be quite difficult to get a house if you're not offering something tangible so we had to offer two to three months rent up front so lucky for us we arrived on a sunday and um we booked viewings um that's house viewings um prior arriving to australia and um the next day we had to rest of course so <laughs> we had to rest i had i needed that rest i needed that rest it was a stressful journey so on tuesday um we went house hunting and we were lucky to get a house and um yes we've paid and we're moving in soon into that house so let's say we got a house within 48 hours of arriving to australia um because we were prepared like i said you need to be financially ready you need to um, have created a rental profile prior arrival and again be financially ready that's the goal that's the key to getting a house be financially ready and be ready to stay in an airbnb for some time because in some areas it's difficult to um get a house that easily so yes this is my journey so far this was how my journey went it's been smooth it's been amazing i look forward to having a very good experience here in australia and i will bring you guys up to speed trust me to always give you the tea i will tell you how it goes um if everything they said is true about australia if it's if the land is filled with gold i will tell you Mwah! see you guys some other time thank you so much bye bye for now